Good morning, my friends. There's a psalm that I'd like to share with you on this Wednesday morning. Um, I am not in the Port Maria Prayer Center today as we have some things going on with our construction project. But there is this psalm that we used at Bible study and prayer last night that has really always for the last um, maybe 30 plus years uh, from the first night um, the Lord led me to sit in the little corner of a room and meditate it and chant it you know in the atmosphere I really um, found it profoundly a blessing and it is a 150th Psalm the very last Psalm in the book of Psalms and it says praise ye the Lord it goes on to say praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power. Ah, Father, let your power be manifest in the earth. Verse 2 says, Praise him for his mighty acts. I cannot help but think of the things that he has done on my behalf and the things that he has done around me. I've got to praise him according to his excellent greatness. I don't know what you think about God this morning, but the few occasions that I can count on one hand where I've had a divine encounter with him and seen him, he has uh, just been absolutely tremendous in the greatness that is the expression of his person. Uh, verse 3 says, Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. I can imagine when I hear trumpets in the earth and I hear the crescendo of a symphony eh, and the magnificence of musicians uh, in harmony that uh, heaven's declaration in music must be awesome. Praise him with the psaltery and with the harp. Everything must be employed today in praising this God that we know. Praise him with the timbrel, that's the tambourine, and with the dance. Oh, I remember, uh, and I crave in my spirit, the seasons of of dance before my father. I praise him with the stringed instruments and with organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And finally, the very last verse says, Let everything, let everything that hath breath, Praise ye the Lord. Father, this morning I praise you. This morning I magnify you. I give you glory, Father, for health and Father's strength. And even the very breath of our bodies come from you. You are the Father of spirits and you have instilled in us, Lord God. From our natural birth, Lord God, we came into the earth. And as we came, Lord God, we were destined to physically die. But, Lord God, you, you, you came to us, you, you touched us, you called us in our inner man, and you gave us the rebirth, the new birth. And with the new birth, Lord God, instead of a destiny to die, we have a destiny to live. And in this natural life, Lord God, the down payment that you have given, Father, abundant life, Lord God, a blessed life. Uh, a peaceful life, Father. That life, Lord God, we just thank you this morning for. We thank you, Lord God, for this life, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you have brought this life, Lord God, to us. And, Father, that today, Lord God, we can enjoy your holy presence, your leading in the Spirit. For in you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. Oh, Lord God, in Jesus' name, 
receive my praise today. Amen.